Smelly Louie by Catherine Rayner. Louie had just had a bath. He smelt of roses and apple blossom, and he was not happy about it. Something was missing. His own special smell had gone, and he wanted it back. Louis trotted out into the garden where he found a fox. The fox smelt a lot. Where did you find your smell? asked Louis. Well, it's been building up for years, explained the fox. But there is something over in the brambles that might be worth a sniff. Louis followed his nose and found an old boot. The boot smelled good, like mouldy cheese. But something was still missing. Some nearby snails suggested he search in the alleyway. Louis followed his nose and found dinky bins. They were overflowing with fishy leftovers and cabbage leaves mixed with rotten eggs. Delicious, but it was still not his own special smell. Some friendly flies were lingering, and they knew of something wonderfully whiffy just down the road. Sticky sludge. Louis wriggled and rolled. His smell was getting better, but he still needed something else. Then he remembered the pongy pond. Louis wallowed and splashed. His special smell was back, and it was amazing. Louis had had a very good day. Everything had worked out beautifully. He trotted happily back home with his special smell wafting all around him. The fox was very impressed. Louis sauntered into the house and up the stairs, and that was when he heard the noise, and smelt a particularly smelly smell. Not his carefully collected, skillfully selected, special smell. It smelt a bit like. Surely it couldn't be. Louis, come here. Roses and apple blossom. Oh no!